Here's why you're programmed to be poor. Throughout years and years and generations, you have been programmed with limiting beliefs and a mindset that you know isn't yours. And that's why you click this video, right? Because you either follow me for a long time or you've seen this video on YouTube and you're like, okay, you know, I haven't been thinking the right way and it's time to change. And I've personally experienced that. You see, over the past five years, I've gone from dead broke to being able to travel the world and live the life of my dream. I've achieved the famous 10K per month marker, and I'm also winning a 20 million pound business. And you guys can see that documented over time on my Snapchat. You can also see that documented on YouTube. So now I'm gonna be doing these ties talks to explain the mindset that has changed over time for me personally, and how you can apply that for yourself. You see, I'm from Nottingham, and it's been, it's been a long road definitely been a long road but one thing that i realized was that i was programmed through my environment and through my friends and family to have a certain type of belief and being able to change that belief is actually the secret to making it and it sounds crazy but i will explain it all very shortly so the first seven years of your life that is when you're downloading information right people say that your brain is a computer now, if your brain's a computer, then that means you're downloading all this information to seven. And who are the main people that are in your life up until the age of seven? Well, that would be your parents, right? Your parents are the people that instill these beliefs. If they're religious, then you're gonna end up being religious. If they've got negative self-beliefs, then you've got negative self-beliefs. If they work a nine to five, and you see them working nine to five, then you think that's normal. And now you're seeing what the next stage is. Because the next stage of your life, you have to go to school, right? You go for your first day at school, school's great, you chime in, you know, you probably cry to leave your parents, then you go to school and you feel like it's fine. Now in school, what do they do? They sit you down in rows. The same rows that we have been sat in for the past 20 odd years, right? Maybe even more, no, hundreds of years actually. Because these were the rows that were around when we were training to become workers and grafters in factories. You know, there's a meme and my editor will, will edit this in. But there's a meme where it shows that People sat down in school is the same thing what people have been doing for hundreds of years and this is the same thing what people were teaching in factory. So we are getting taught how to be worker bees and it's very, very transparent. After school, you then go to college and university and your parents want you to do this because socially we have been taught that if our kids go to school, get a good education, and that is a good thing for them. And I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. You know, I'm personally not opposed to it. I went to school, college, and university. I actually dropped out after my second year. I did my second year twice. And after that, I was making 10K per month, right? Because I had a big revelation, which I'll get into later. But you can see the programming that you've gone through. And what ends up happening is a lot of people go through their whole life, right? After, after university, you've got three, four years of that, you get to the point where you're not even living Living your own dreams and desires. You've gone through being a kid up till seven, and from seven to 20 odd, you've lived another person's dream. You've lived your parents' dream. Because your parents have chosen you all these things, they've guided you there, they've said to do this, said to do that, and you've took on another person's dream as your own. And this is why a lot of people glitch out because they're not living dreams that are their own. And you might feel a little bit similar, right? You might go throughout life and realize that I have not been living the life that I want to live. I want to travel. I want to make money. I want to have nice things. And there's nothing wrong with that. But why is it that these, this lifestyle is ridiculed and people call over people online scammers that are living this lifestyle? The reason is, is because they have limiting beliefs. And business is just a journey of defeating these limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs like you're not able to make it. This business is such it's hard to make money. The government is doing X, Y, and Z. We're in a recession. Things are too expensive. That's all a lie, guys. Because if I go to England right now, I'm balling out the same way I'm, I'm living out in Thailand. If I go to Dubai right now, I'm balling out the same way I, I do anywhere else. Uh, even if I go to Monaco, I'm still balling out. It might cost £10 for a fucking for a Coca-Cola, but I do not give a fuck. Right? Because I understand my own self-worth. I understand that I can generate money easily through my phone the same phone that you guys have in fact you guys probably have a better phone than me now, i'm recording this on the iphone the, the, the iphone mini i think it's like a 12 or something a small one you guys probably walk around with iphone 14 but you're not making the same so you have all you have more technology at your hands you have more technology at your hands than some people in africa yet you are still not making the more money and this is because of the programming one of my biggest breakthroughs was when i broke this programming through years and years and years because i thought 
Going to school was a great thing. I thought I wanted to become an athlete just because that was the only thing I could see in my environment. Only the athletes were making money. I thought getting a, a degree, you know, just to make my family proud was a great thing. But then I realized I'm wasting my own life and my own potential for somebody else, right? Even though it's family, that's great, right? But you're still putting that in another beam. You have to put that work rate into yourself because your parents just want to see you happy. They want to know that you you can fend for themselves. They don't actually care if it's from a degree, but that's what they've been taught and that's what they've been programmed to. That's what they believe. So how do you break this programming? And how do you break this negative cycle so you're not going to be repeating the same thing has been happening for generations? One thing that I personally did, and this might not work for you, but I went back and I really meditated on the beliefs that have been taught to me by my environment. This is in Nottingham. Right? So I'm looking at the people at work. I'm looking at the people at my university at the time. I'm looking at my friends. I'm looking at my family. I'm looking at the area where I live, which was, which was Meadows. Right? I'm looking around and I'm seeing what is my environment teaching me? Well, my environment at the time, it was teaching me that being broke was okay. That it's okay to go in the dole. It's okay to be behind on your bills. It's okay to, to have a nine to five and get a job. And it's okay to get by. Then I looked at my family. Well, my family have taught me, obviously they've taught me a lot of great things. Don't, <laughs> don't think that's not a thing, right? Breaking your limiting beliefs for your family is not about the great things that they've taught you. It's about recognizing the programming that they have been taught that they are unaware of because you have to put yourself on a higher consciousness than them. If you want to be the, the black sheep of the family and you want to be able to make money online, and you want to live this traveling and great life, then you're going to have to recognize that you have to be on a higher mind frame than your family. If Even if you look at Alex Amosi's $100 million offers, he even said his dad thought he was selling drugs when he was selling 10 grand a ticket to 100 people at an event. Think about it, right? The main limiting beliefs that I gained from my family is that going to school, getting a job, getting a degree, and then taking it from there is probably the worst thing that I could ever do. Personally, my goals and my personal goals I wrote down, which was 10K per month, Tesla, penthouse, financial freedom, e-commerce investor, those goals did not align with a degree. If your goals do align with a degree, go ahead and get it. The next programming that I learned from my family was that there were a lot of limiting beliefs that people say that they don't even realize. So it's not a good idea for me to go to my family and talk about a business idea when they're not even into business. If I go to my family and say, yo, I want to start this e-commerce thing, this drop shipping thing, this Amazon FBA, this affiliate marketing thing. They're not going to get it. And the first thing that they're going to respond to me is with a limited belief. Or they're just going to say, like, do whatever makes you happy, which is great. But that still doesn't help me achieve these goals. So I had to start getting my advice from people that are in the position where I want to be. So I, I wrote down this, only take advice from people who are to trade positions with. And that changed my whole ethos of who I was expending my energy upon and who I was trying to learn from. Because that meant I wasn't going to friends and family to look for advice for business. I was going to business people to look for advice for business. It sounds easy when you think of it like that, but trust me, you know, you're probably in a position where you've gone to your friends, you've gone to your family, you've said, yo, I've got this sick business idea and then shot it, right? So, yeah, learn from people who, who are switched positions with. And those are two very simple ways to break the programming. Look at your environment, figure out the things in your environment that is telling you without telling you, right? These limiting beliefs that people are putting upon you inside of the fucking gentrification hood or whatever you call it, right? You're in the city, especially if you're in the city, you're buzzing around, you're seeing all this money, yet you can't pay your bills. It's not making sense. Then your family. Same thing. Look at them. Look at what they've learned. Look at what their core beliefs are. Uh, if they align with your own, great. If they don't, recognize that. Because consciously or subconsciously, you are downloading that information. So the faster that you figure it out and snap and go, okay, I'm not absorbing this now. Draw that line the faster you're going to get to your success. Now, once you follow those two steps, one thing that I found very interesting was that that is just the tip of the iceberg. After that, you need to match it with work rate because we can know all of these things. We can know all of this programming that's going around. But if we're not actually aware of the conscious decisions that we're making to break this programming and put it in the action, it's not making sense. So all we have to do is write down, okay, these are the goals that we've got. This is the programming that we've got that we want to get rid of. Right? These are my goals. So what are the actions that I can take to get there? If your goals are making money online, one great thing I found for having success to make money online, simply watching YouTube videos like this. Make sure that you actually like, comment, and share this video to a friend. 
and putting it into action. So you've heard this, you've heard me talk about a program, you've heard me talk about X, Y, and Z, right? And a lot of YouTubers out there, they just spit out these videos for attention. Right? But what I'm gonna to say to you is, do not watch this video unless you're putting it into action. Unless you're applying these concepts, then this, this ain't the right channel for you because I'm putting in this effort to change lives, not entertain lives, that's the difference. So we watch this video, write down these things, write down your goals and watch videos related to that goal. Take advice from people who are already at that goal. If you wanna learn e-commerce, just DM me, right? You wanna learn e-commerce, crypto, you wanna be able to travel, DM me, right? Because I've done that and it's documented from the beginning, from five years ago, I've documented the whole journey. So I can say, you know, I've got the experience to give you some good, decent advice, right? Where other people that aren't in that situation right, can't really give you that advice. So, and, and the reason is because they've got program and a limiting beliefs associated with that. That's why they haven't been able to achieve them goals. Now you see how it all comes together. So guys, I'm going to keep this one short. I want you to really apply this. This is Ty's Talks if you are new here. And this is where every single week I drop gems from past experiences that I have learned and give it to you in simple layman terms to apply it. There is tons and tons of research out there and you can read into this a lot more and I definitely suggest you do. So go out there, smash it and achieve your goals. I will be with you every step of the journey and I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoy the podcast.